So this is my temporary setup. Uh, temporary until I get the lab built in the basement. I have uh, quite a few lab supplies, everything I need to keep going. I just need to build the walls, sterilize the whole place, and make make it a clean room environment that I can transport in and out of without disturbing that. <laughs> this is a this is a closet. I have everything running in the closet right now before I get my shelves all running. I'll show you how it runs here. So everything's at optimal temperature. Right here is my holding my temperature right here. I can cycle through it. That's my max. That's my minimum. And that's the uh, difference between the two temperatures before it turns on. This kicks on a heat mat inside there on the bottom. Inside of here, I have my my liquid cultures. So this is basically my psyllium suspended in a liquid, kind of like what you compared to like hydroponic for weed. This is the uh, same thing for mushrooms. So there's my mycelium suspended in liquid. I have all my genetics in here. I start out with some golden teacher and some uh, uh, stargazer and also, uh, let's see here, what was the other one I had? Uh, Cyanessence, right? So then I was putting genetics into petri dishes and choosing out my rhizomorphics and my the genetics I preferred would appear would appear to be the uh, uh, you know the the dominant genetics in the petri dish and then I uh, inoculated these jars with it. Here's my <laughs> these are ones right back here. I don't have them on heat because you can slow down the growth of them. This is my uh, golden teacher from Costa Rica. And then I got Cyanessence from Puerto Rico. And so I just have back here chilling because it slows the growth down. And so that's my liquid culture. That's where I grow it in there. And then I inoculate green jars in here. This one right here, I have a dual temperature set up in here. So I have a cold side and hot side. Two mats in there. And potential temperature probe. And then like, here's like, here's someone that should be high heat right here. This is, a, this is a, I use corn. Corn's a good, good one to start with here. Let's see here. So this one just started. There's some, you might see them growing in there. These things will get covered thick white when they're good. Let's see what else I got. I need to turn down the heat, actually. And there, oh, there's one. This one's a little more developed. But these things will get covered in solid white. And then I'll fruit them in my fruiting chamber, which is above here. Just if I need to adjust the temperature on this puppy. These ones are rye. So, uh, I noticed that the golden teacher likes to use it. grows in rye. It starts to clump it up like that. Anyway, it likes that better. And then my side is like corn. These ones right here will do, one of these will do a tub this size. Two of them will do a big tub. This one I just inoculated not too long ago. Let's see here, I need to adjust, adjust this. So adjusting these, I just go like this. It's seated at 29 on the hot side there, 29. Go like this. There's my low temperature. So then, oh, low temperature. I'm gonna take it down to the low still. It's ever gonna hit before it turns on. Let's do 25, okay. And then here's my high temperature. Let's see here, high temperature. Right. Oh, high temperature. All right. Let's take this down some. It's too hot. Let's go. Let's do 26.5. So there we go. 26.5, 25. This. That's this side. And this side is 25 and 24.3. So that's that. That's my. Basically, my mycelium development stage above here i got my actual model tubs this one right here this is a this is an experiment to see how how sterile my environment was this one right here i got it monitored up here this is the here's the heat here this is what i have to set at this is what it actually is and then i have a relative humidity one right there uh, you know obviously 100 percent it drops down there below but when it drops below uh, 90% I have a kick on a humidifier. So automatically, automatically uh, 
Well, they get this thing all humid in there. So I'm gonna try to get a clear spot here. Oh, well, anyway. Micropore tape, of course, for uh, carbon dioxide oxygen exchange. It's the heat pad underneath there that runs everything. This is an experiment with shaking the greens, un, un, unshaking and uh, shaking to see what kind of development we get. Definitely shaking is the way to go. So anyway, that's my setup there in a the closet, but we'll have a whole lab set up soon where shelves and shelves, and at least try to run six of these at a time. We do probably four of these at a time. And then we'll be running seven or eight of those tubs like that.